All right, so we're jumping into some sketchbooks that are really, really uh, haven't been um, filled up at all. A um, couple reasons why. Uh, these were office sketchbooks, so I'm not sketching a lot at the office um, in, in uh, many cases, depending on what's going on at work and my responsibilities. Um, but nonetheless, there are some ideas in here in the first couple of pages, and um, these were great to take to meetings because um, they were small, but because of the binding, this perfect bind, it was always hard to open the pages, so um, they haven't been used a ton. But uh, here's an example of just the number of different logo ideas and sketches and just any thoughts that came down as I was working on the Ogden Marathon brand. Um, this was around 2011, 12. Um, I decided to kind of introduce this OGD uh, abbreviation for Ogden, which they uh, have used in some cases. And uh, it's fun to just see these things just live and just live on this page. They didn't all end up going onto the computer, but all of them influenced the final product, I think. sketches but here's a couple a friend from the choir Camille and a friend that I met on one of our tours in New York director music conductor a friend of his and sometimes we see these little uh, final pieces this was something that was done for the birthday committee in the time of the choir and I'm not sure why this is in here <laughs> I believe that's it for this one. A lot of paper left to fill in that sketchbook. I've got one just like it that's a little bit more full, I think. You can see the date here, 2009. Used for notes, primarily. But just getting th this actually um, ended up being an Instagram post. So I'd have this next to my desk, and I believe that this was the day BB King died, and I just thought, oh, I'm just gonna look him up and learn about him a little bit and just decided to do a quick little sketch of BB. This sketch was actually someone who had commented on my Instagram as I was getting it going and I don't know this person and it was kind of a weird idea back then but it seemed perfectly normal. Um, but I just thought it was cool that someone I didn't know had uh, made a comment on one of the pictures and to say thanks I just said, oh well here's a, a picture of one of the people that commented, thank you. And I thought that would become a regular practice. So far, she's the only one that, that uh, I did that for. Cool little exploration. Nonetheless, this one's just a goofy illustration, but I just really love the lips and how they just form around those quirky teeth. Robert Frost. Uh, a friend of mine, Nate Graham, who passed away, I believe, in 2015. I've been at work and kind of a coping mechanism, just drew a quick picture of good old Nate. Great, great man. David Bowie, Alan Rickman, Ed Catmull, Kobe Bryant, just really quick sketches. Walt Disney, Kevin Durant, another Walt Disney, and exploration of another logo. Is that it? That's it for that one. For the final one, I've got this book. Uh, I was the producer and producing uh, a number of branded little uh, uh, swag items for Struck, where I worked, and we did some sketchbooks. And this one has been used, and uh, I broke the binding, and plenty of pages have fallen out. But I really like this sketchbook. It's just a uh, a lot of a lot of rough, rough ideas that have um, influenced some final works. So you'll see a lot of figure stuff in here, faces, a lot of uh, logo explorations. This is a friend of mine in the choir. I can tell just because of the smile, Joanne Voorhees, just a beautiful, beautiful person. And a lot of my ideas for the birthday committee, I think, ended up in this, in this notebook getting sketched out, brainstormed. 
little Forrest Gump sketch there. I don't recognize the bookmark from earlier. This is where it happened. And this I'm exploring some options for uh, some shirts that I designed for the Ogden Marathon. Uh, my favorite version of the Ogden Marathon shirt actually was from that exercise. Here's a Tom Hanks based on someone else's caricature of him. Next to He-Man, of course. Coach from Friday Night Lights. Um, some NBA players, a LeBron, a Karl Malone, Blake Griffin. These are based on uh, some work by uh, an artist named Mads Berg, and I, everything that he does is gold, everything he does. This was for um, just a, a calendar that I wanted to put together for myself uh, and my wife, and we were tracking some fitness goals. as he goes up to dunk the ball. Frank Layden and another Carl. And I've got some brainstorming for a company that I was trying to create at one point when we were producing a bar of like a, a Nutri, uh, not a Nutri grain, but just kind of like a nutritious breakfast bar type thing. Um, just looking over some names. This was when we were thinking of calling it Genius. And brainstorming what we wanted the website to look like. Initially my sketchbooks had lots of pictures of Batman. So I must have been throwing it back to old times there. Here were some sketches I did uh, commissioned by a friend that uh, I sang with in the choir. Each of these was a scene from his wife's um, life story. So I just captured those in tiny little sketches for a book that he was putting together for her, for her birthday. Explorations on some new choir dresses for the Tabernacle Choir. It actually opened up um, for us to submit some ideas, which uh, maybe wasn't that great of an idea, uh, but I was sure excited to put in some ideas of my own, so you see a little bit of brainstorming there. This is when the idea for the bar became fresh fix instead of genius. And we see pages that have come out. Here's another picture of Coach from, uh, kind of based on when I was watching Friday Night Lights. And I love just, just how he's sitting and standing there next to some graphic design brainstorming I was doing for the choir. Not uh, official choir stuff, I just always, anytime we went somewhere on tour, I just needed to remember it with some sort of graphic design. So this was when we went down to Ephraim, I believe, he sang at Snow College for that city's 150th anniversary, I believe. It's more fresh fix. church. So brainstorming a logo here. Lots of pages of that logo. That one was a hard one to do. And more logo stuff. This one's for a law firm. Logo stuff for my daughter's soccer team. 
Blade Hawks logo stuff for, it's hard to see, but uh, for something called Luke's Travel Japan, Fort Canyon Realty, some more logo stuff. This has been really a go-to notebook for logo brainstorming. I feel like I can just do anything and it doesn't need to be perfect. Some package design for a game called And Then. This project would seem to go on forever and ever and ever and ever. And at the end of the day, it's a really, really fun game. My kids love to play it as much as it was tedious to go through all of the revisions. This, this page was notes that I had to take while I was at a, a defensive driving course. Long story short, um, I had to take the course because of a ticket that I received and I wasn't aware that I had to take the course. And so my license was re revoked nearly for a time. And, I decided I would just draw the instructor. Of course, that's what I do when I'm listening to teachers. These are some initial sketches for Run With Ryan. Very, very initial. Some notes from some meetings. And some early poetry. This is included in the book Snarlyverse. This is called The Dream Team. And uh, I wrote this very, very fast. Um, kind of to the, uh, the same style of Shel Silverstein. But my kids were memorizing poems at that time and I wanted to just be part of that experience for them. Some logo exploration, some more running. And more logo. This stuff's recent, in the last year or two. This has been a good notebook. Some illustration, exploration. And it's still got some life left in it. It's been a good one.